Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. <laughs> uh, I, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm tired. I'm not gonna lie, I am tired. So we got the motorcycle in, got the wheel walt lock in. Obviously, everything is in place. Uh, bike is strapped down. We actually, and again, I said with the idea with the buckets, the buckets are in here, and then uh, got a rope holding them all the way around so they're not going to slide around and so that's a good thing and uh, so that is ready the back of the truck is completely packed up uh, I got more stuff in the uh, back, <clears throat> back seat a few more things obviously when I'm ready to go uh, we'll have to we'll have to be there but uh, she's ready to roll ready to take her to her new forever home I love when people say that. I don't know. I just get a kick out of that. We're going to take them to their forever home. So, uh, ready to roll. Uh, like I said, I w wanted to get everything done. It's ridiculously hot today. So, getting everything squared away uh, ahead of time is a good thing. And in that way, I can uh, get a good night's sleep, get rocking early, and uh, be on my way back down to West Virginia. So it actually worked out good this way just because of the simple fact that, uh, you know, uh, the weather down there was rain yesterday, rain today. So didn't want to deal with that, obviously. So with having it uh, where we're going to be good to go here, uh, it makes it makes it's going to make it a lot easier. So. But uh, yeah, so we're all packed up and uh, ready to rock. So we'll take one more walk around here. There's Miss Molly. It's funny, like Hella, I will tell you, she's been in that run and she's been watching. Oh. Hey, Beck, yeah. I'm filming. Do you want to, or do you not care? Um, just hold on a minute. We're giving the chicken some watermelon. Okay. All right. So we'll focus on the cats. She's in a bikini, and I don't know if she wanted to be on film in a bikini, so. Trying to be respectful. And give those guys a minute. <clears throat> and then we'll walk over there. Oh, so the neighbor said, you want a couple of free file cabinets? And I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> so uh, Rick's actually going to take them. And uh, he's going to he's going to give one to his son and one for him, so worked out perfect. You can't pass up free. So man, is it hot in here? Holy crap! All right, it's completely pegged out. So it goes up to 120, and you can see the gauge is all the way past that. It's got to be 140, 150 in here. So it's uh, it is toasty, toasty warm. But. Uh, Beautiful day here. I'll show you the sky again. I mean, that's the extent of the clouds. So, just gorgeous. Probably 86, 87 degrees today, something in that range. And uh, so I have, uh, I have the other beehive uh, that I'll be taking down to West Virginia. So that'll be going uh, with me as well. And uh, that won't get set up this year. We'll probably set that one up next year. Uh, it's too late, actually, now to uh, try to start a new hive. they got to have time to build up everything before the winter comes. And uh, that's why you get them in late April. And uh, you, don't, you don't get them later because they don't have enough time. And you want to make sure they survive. So if you give them, give them that time to build up, uh, you know, what they're doing. All right, well, they're in there farting around. I'm just going to point over this way. Chickens are doing good. They're messing with the chickens. Dogs are good. So everybody's good over there. Figure, well, well, we still may take a walk over there. But uh, took a bunch more stuff out of here uh, as well. And uh, it's you can't see in there. It's, it's way too dark. But there's definitely a lot more that I want to take out of here. Uh, it's just, it's, there's just so much stuff. <laughs> you, 
you don't I'm gonna tell you what folks you don't really realize how much stuff you have until you start packing it all up and moving it and that's when you realize and you go wow that's a lot of stuff so you figure last year uh, from so April May June July August September October and November so eight months last year I made eight trips uh, only one trip did I bring the trailer but the rest of the time I brought the truck up and uh, took a completely full load back in the truck every time uh, obviously this time I brought the trailer and I'm taking a motorcycle back but I was like you know what I, I, I could fit you know and it's 20 buckets uh, five gallon buckets and they're older buckets I've had them uh, actually I'll show you we can we can explore together uh, let's see all right, so this one here, rice, brown sugar, was packed up 6-9, my birthday, of 09. So just a few years ago. <laughs> uh, That's another one with rice and brown sugar. Brown sugar. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of this is back, like I said, 09. So this is actually, I think I was still with my ex-wife when I packed these ones up. And these buckets have been out in the outbuilding where the motorcycle was. And there's still a bunch more in there. But you can only take so much at a time, obviously. So, uh, but uh, like I said, I got a completely full, fully loaded back of the uh, truck. And, uh, you know, I basically have some clothes that I'm gonna grab uh, and, uh, and stuff like that, but uh, just grabbing different things that I, I think I'm going to need. Uh, I, I got, uh, actually I'll go around over here, I'll show you. So, walkie-talkies, three different walkie-talkies, three different charging stations. Uh, so I'm bringing them down. I have other stuff down there, but I, I last time when I left, I was going to take them and forgot. Obviously, my leather. We got some booze in a box here. Uh, good prep items to have. So I figured, well, let me take those. And uh, uh, Becky has been weeding today in the garden bed. So uh, she weeded this bed here, and she got this bed weeded. So she just, you know, it's like uh, she'll she'll hit the other ones. She just putzes around and does her thing and she enjoys it and you don't have to do it all at once and you know you can just kind of work at it methodically and uh, that's what she wanted to, you know she enjoys it too which is good uh, that's a good thing so but uh, that's pretty much it um, oh I will be live streaming tonight for my hardcore prepper or hardcore members and um, that will be at eight o'clock so if you would like to join us the way to do so is to go to my main page you'll see the join button you click on that and you become a hardcore member uh, I do once a week on Mondays I do a live stream for my hardcore members and uh, that's what I do every Monday so uh, like I said again we'll be doing that tonight so if you would like to join us uh, feel free to do so all right all right guys uh, I am gonna jump off of here now I am like done for right now I want to chill <laughs> so remember we are all in this together we are one race called the human race as soon as we can figure that one out we're going to absolutely be in much much better shape also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love tell them every single day tomorrow is not guaranteed we never know what's going to happen in life so it's really important to tell the people that we care about every day how we feel last but not least std step thing and day one step at a time one thing at a time and one day at a time Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? Have a great day. I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.